everyone so I'm here with another part to my ring bound journal so we've so far created completely created this section here all right all I've done is on the what would be the maybe the front page depending on what order we put them together I have just added a simple pocket so all you do is measure the size you want your pocket to be and then add three eighths of an inch either side and bottom to make the flaps so this for example is five inches by four so I'd cut my paper to five and three quarters which gives me two lots of three eighths of an inch by four and three eighths so that then I can score on three sides at three eighths of an inch then I've just cut my paper quarter of an inch smaller so and all around it and added some tags so and then just layered that one with plain I've repunched my holes um, so that I can keep an eye and lucky for me this section here was just within where the holes were so do bear that in mind we are ring binding it so anything you put on it needs to um, not be near the holes okay so that's where we're at so far so I'm doing um, page two. Now what we're going to do as we progress, we're going to do three main um, pages like this, okay? Which is basically four pages. One, two, three, four. So we're going to do three different ones like this. So that's one. We're going to do another now, and then we'll do another. And then what you do is you duplicate each one. Okay, so I'm not going to show you all the pages. I'm going to show you three different variations and then you duplicate them until you've got enough pages. Depending on the size of the rings that you've got, it's going to depend how many pages you can have. Okay, if mine gets too thick, I'm going to uh, bind it with twine or ribbon. I'm not worried. So I'll show you this one, I'll show you this one, then I'll be showing you another one. And then from there, my next video will be probably um, doing some covers and then going inside and doing some detailed decorating. All right? Um, so you take the ideas and you either make the pages the same as mine or incorporate the ideas on your own pages or you do the three pages and then duplicate the ones that you like. Are you with me? That's where we're going. Okay, so one um, other thing, um, because this is a unique journal, which means I'm making it up as I go along, there may well be alterations to the sizing as I'm going. So, you know, you'll just have to bear with me because I'm making it up. So what I, we originally did our pages like this and we measured them and scored them. And then I decided that it needed a gusset, which, um, so we scored a quarter of an inch on the on the long part to make our gusset but then if we're going to use some of the pages flat then they're going to be a quarter of an inch bigger okay let me show you so they're going to poke out a quarter of an inch there because obviously this has been shrunk down because it's been scored and folded now if that doesn't bother you leave them as they are otherwise go back if you've already pre-cut yours and just cut a quarter of an inch off of the longest edge there that's what I've done um, because I don't really want mine um, poking out so this page is going to be quite a simple page I'm going to do it in two stages I'll be as fast as I can I'll fast forward the matting we're going to make a pocket and then I'm going to show you how we're going to add a journal signature Okay, a paper signature of pages for journaling on. Right, so. Okay, so I've fast forwarded this section ever so slightly. So we've cut the page down to two and a half inches and I'm going to mat the inside of there. Now originally I was going to make that two and a half inch uh, flap into a pocket. Uh, later on I do actually decide to just keep it as a flip. So um, I end up having to mat the inside here and add bits on. Um, it's not a big problem. I'm prone to changing my mind. <laughs> so you'll see me cut mine down here, but really it needs to be matted right up to the score line. Okay, so I'm cutting my paper to size. I'm using my pencil to cut it by eye. Uh, you don't have to measure everything and make things complicated for yourselves. Um, and then just trim it ink everything and then that one's gluing on like I say I've made mine because I was going to do a pocket but I changed my mind as I went on and turned it into a flip um, so I went back and re-added some um, so I decided not to sew this section you can sew everything you want but you know um, it's 
sewing things is it looks beautiful but it's time consuming so i pick and choose which bits to sew and i'll sew some things and not others make sure you do repeatedly repunch those holes so that you've always got a visual guide of where the rings are going to go otherwise you'll forget and you could stick things over where it's going to be in the way so on the flip part I'm lining with this pretty red paper and um, this is um, one of the freebies that was in my Facebook group, it's not in the main kit. Don't forget when you see me make things on YouTube you don't have to buy my kits, you can totally use whatever you've got. Um, my main purpose is to show you the project, uh, what papers I use is irrelevant, just use what you've got. Um, so I'm inking that section now and then I do go away and I decide because that's going to be like a focal point there you can see that I've sewn around it. So now I'm going to add that on and that's going to give me a lovely contrasting colour, pop of colour against that lovely neutral toned paper there. It's absolutely lovely. So then I'm going to add a component I already made to this flip now there is a standalone video on this it's basically just a tag pocket and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it onto that flip component there and um, so that it overhangs so it looks like the main component of a page but it's also a pocket and it also extends the flip it looks really lovely and the images in this were the, one of the freebies in my group and they do match beautifully with the kit um, so I'm going to be using some of the projects that I used um, from my freebies in the journal. So there we go. Okay, and then in the second part of the video we're now going to um, add our journaling pages. All so right. to do the signature what we're going to do is I've got a collection of papers here from the kit but you can use anything, just plain tea dyed. Don't forget, everything that I put on YouTube, if I'm using images that I've created, you can replicate it using what you've got. You don't have to go out and purchase anything. Just use what you've got. Unless you really want to, then you can. <laughs> so, um, I've got a collection of the pages and I've put them back through my printer and I've printed some plain tea dyed and coffee dyed on the back. Now there's loads of these available for free over on my group and I've, there is a, another um, pretty patterned coffee dyed papers if you need it in my shop. So I'm just going to get them all and to start with I'm literally just going to, as they are in the A4 size or however you print them, I'm literally just going to fold them in half. Okay. You can mix it up and add some other ephemera which I may well do, I'm not sure yet, but for now we're just going to fold all the pages in half, okay, like so, alright, uh, this is one that I trimmed and I, I trimmed it completely wonka, I don't know what I was doing, I think maybe I'd had a whisker, <laughs> so then what you want to do is just measure the space that you're going to have, so we need to make sure that we're omitting here, Okay, and so that gives us a space of about uh, five and a half. So your pages, when they're folded, need to be trimmed on the width to five and a half, okay, and on the length to approximately, I'd say, seven and three quarters, yeah. So let me just, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my, this, um, but what I'm going to have to do is, so I can do the, can I do it, uh, it goes up to five, what did I say, we need it, forgotten. Five and a half, right, so they don't want to be any more than five and a half in width. So there's five and a half. I'm using my Tim Holtz chopper so that I get a distressed edge. You don't have to, okay? And then your paper's eight, so I'm just going to do it by eye. I'm doing it by eye, but they want to be seven and three quarters if you're cutting them straight. Okay, I'm not worried if mine are all different sizes. 
not bothered at all they don't have to be all one uniform size and this is where the hybrid part of being a, a mixture between an album and a, and a journal I won't say junk journal or else junk journalists will come for me because this is a printed kit and it's not junk <laughs> Forbid you use the you know wrong terminology. I'll come for you. <laughs> right, so I'm just gonna get them roughly the same size. You know, I'll rip it. I'm not bothered. I'm not uh, too worried. Okay, so you get a collection of papers that are all roughly the same size and roughly going to fit within the parameters that you need which is five and a half by seven and three quarters okay so you want yourself a collection you don't need too many it's not a 20 page signature you might need five or six pages so I'm going to just busily cut the rest of mine I'll fast forward and uh, and then we will I'll show you how to attach them Okay, so trimming the pages here, I just fast forwarded it so you didn't have to watch. And when I've trimmed them all, I will ink every single page, both sides, with some distress ink. And I've chosen a vintage photo. It just gives a nicer look. It uh, covers the white core of your paper. Okay, so the little touches make a big okay, difference. Okay, so while my pages are inked, and they're all cut to roughly the same size, I'm using one, two, three four five six pages right so then what you want to do is just put one inside the other okay make sure you're getting them the right way up make sure you're alternating maybe um, patterned you know one with an image next to a plain one and so on and so forth you know so that they're not all just plain maybe put that one there and maybe that one there and then for your first page, don't worry if they overlap each other a bit, it doesn't matter. For your first page, what you want to do is, um, you want to find a page that you like the image of, okay? And then it wants to, so this is going to be like, essentially like your first page, but it's going to be the page that anchors down. So rather than it being that way, you want to decide, because this is going to anchor down. So, yeah, so you plain bit to the back, okay? So we're going to have this image here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go now. I'm aligning all of those up so that they're kind of central. And this front page happens to be a little bit shorter than the rest, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, and what we're going to do is we'll go to the centre, clip them together. So that they're roughly lined up and then either go through with your sewing machine slowly down the middle with your sewing machine or sew it by hand you can do the three hole pamphlet stitch or you can just literally do a running stitch in and out in and out like they taught you at brownies or girl scouts or whatever you call it <laughs> and then in and out in and out back the other way okay if you don't understand the pamphlet stitch just sew it like you would sew the hem on your pair of trousers so I'm just going to go and sew this and then I will be back and show you how to attach it. Okay, so I've sewn literally just down the middle of my pages. And this is why we don't have too many pages. Um, it's, it just makes our life easier and it's not necessary. So there's six pages there. And that's still a signature of uh, six, 24 pages. So you've still got quite a number of pages there. Let me just make sure everything's the right way up. Yeah, you've got a nice little collection of images but they're all perfect for writing on as well so I'm just going to trim if I can find anything I'm getting to the stage now where I can't find anything on my desk I'm just going to trim the threads because my brain can't cope with I mean they look beautiful when other people do it but my brain can't cope with the dangling threads so then bring your page back okay we're on this one here and what you want to do is on this front bit here okay have I sewn that on upside down? Oh no, I haven't. I thought I'd sewn it upside down then. <laughs> what you want to do is we're just going to trim this page now. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to get my chopper. 
that because what we're going to do is we're going to use this page to anchor down but we can also uh, turn it into a pocket so I'm just going to chop some off there's no real strict measurement maybe an inch maybe an inch and a half okay try and get it fairly straight and then the bit that you've chopped off glue it to the back to strengthen the edge of that okay we don't waste paper so we'll just glue it and stick it on the back and what that is just doing is that strengthening the opening of that pocket because you're going to use it as a pocket okay right so you so that's your image you're going to plant down you're gluing it on the back all right or use washi tape but you know you may as well you've just cut that piece off so you may as well just reuse it if you wanted to you could then go and sew that edge with your sewing machine so you've got a fancy sewing edge on that pocket before you glue it to your book okay so now what we're going to do very simple to attach this signature we're going to glue this page here either glue the whole thing if you're not bothered about a pocket and you're worried it's not going to be sturdy but I can assure you that if you glue on three sides with slightly more glue there and on the bottom it will attach your booklet and give you a pocket don't glue past the spine okay and when you're gluing it on don't go past the holes and don't go over there <laughs> it's really very easy and this is an easy way to add a signature to any kind of album or journal um, you know if you're not confident with hand sewing it in just run it through your sewing machine just don't do more than about five or six pages at a time um, your sewing machine will easily cope with it and uh, glue it in glue it in or glue them to each other you can do that as well you could make several of these and glue them back to back and then make your cover it's another way of, there's lots of ways of making journals uh, other than what the likes of me tells you on YouTube oh that's too far so obviously because this is a half pocket okay it wants to be down here right so you're just leaving room for those holes there okay so line it up like that all right so then this will be halfway across your page you can obviously make that look more pretty with lace or whatever i'll probably do something with it when it comes to the decorating um part of my journal okay so because i've moved it about a bit i need to just add a bit more glue so it, it'll get fancied up and it'll look a lot nicer okay so my page my first page was a little bit shorter than these it would have been better if it was the right size and then it would have covered that mat underneath but i'll just um i'll add some strips of paper or lace or something to make it look more pleasing to the eyes so now you've got a pocket there okay i'm going to grab a scrap and show you so you've got a pocket there okay and then you've got 20 pages 20 talk properly Amanda 20 pages and that will just add in uh, to your ring bound journal okay like so so then that might be your first page okay might open like so that might be your first page then you're going to have all of your journal pages then you're going to have this pocket page then that's going to open like so you've got that and then that and then that with the flip okay so i'm going to show you one more flip page like this but different and then it's a case of repeating the sections that you like until you've got enough pages to fill your rings that you've got okay so here's our rings all right so we've loads of space there so we can get a good few more signatures in there before that pulls tight okay maybe another two or three all right hope that helps i'll see you again very soon with the third part then we'll do one on the page uh, you know the cover and then we'll go back through and we will i'll talk about decorating all right bye for now